So now that you've got all these polygroups here, what we can do is we can hold down Control Shift and select that border, Control Shift Drag. And if you want access to that later, we can go over here and we can do a split hidden. And now we got our polygroup border on a separate subtool here. So if we go into solo mode, and your solo mode button may be way down here, you can use all sorts of methods to go ahead and turn these into panel lines. In fact, if you go to my YouTube channel, go to the live stream highlights, scroll down to the very bottom here, and you're going to see a hard surface excerpt right here. We go over a lot of different ways to kind of clean up these lines and make panels and extract things. But just really quickly to kind of clean up these edges a little bit, we'll go back and do our masking by border. And let's go ahead and grow that mask a couple times, or maybe just, eh, let's do a couple times. Control tap to invert that. Go over here to deformation, and then we'll do a polish by features. And let's do an open circle, and we'll just tap that a couple times. And that'll go ahead and clean up those borders here. Control drag to invert that mask, or control drag to get rid of that mask completely. And if you remember back from one of our earlier videos here, if we hit W and we're gonna hit Y to go back into gizmo mode, we're gonna hit this gear icon. We're gonna do a remesh by Z remesher. Well, turn off X first, and then go do a remesh by Z remesher. We'll make it symmetrical, or mirrored in the X axis, and we'll go ahead and pull out a value here. So we just dropped it to 20,000. If we turn on lines back in our polygroups here, we're gonna see that's the result we get. We can actually drop that down a little bit. And if you wanna play with this a little bit more, what we can do is we can go, we can say accept this, go to our geometry section, go to the Z remesher options. I'm gonna choose half, and then hit Z remesh. Let's turn our adaptive size down to zero so we get nice even quads. And let's turn polyframe off. Let's go back to our white color here. So now we have nice clean panel lines here. So at this point, we can go up to our edge loop submenu in our geometry menu. We can go down here to panel loops and we can start using these panel loop options here. We have polish set a little bit high. I think by default it should be set to five. So you can do a panel loops here. You can change the thickness of the panel loops on the fly. So if you want them thinner or thicker, if you want more information and more in-depth information on panel loops, go to my YouTube channel. Again, YouTube channel, Intro to ZBrush Part 2, I believe we go over panel loop options. Or we've used panel loops before too, so just do a quick search in my videos. Type in panel loops and you'll find something. If you want a little bit more control, you can go into BZM for your Z Modeler brush. And then you can hover over a face, you can do Q Mesh, Polygroup All, and you can pu start pulling out thickness, or you can hover over face and you can do all polygons, and now each one of these will go ahead and be pulled out. And you can continue poly modeling from here. You can also hit D for our dynamic subdivision that we talked about earlier. So we're going geometry dynamic and do shift D and D. And if you want to crease up those edges a little bit, go to your crease menu here, hit crease poly group, and then change our dynamic subdivisions to like four to get a nice smooth result. And then our crease tolerance to something lower than that, let's say three or even two. And now if we do Shift D and then D to turn that back on, you can see we get a nice smooth panel line result. Now, like I said before, there's a lot of different methods you can use to create your paneled objects. That was just one of them, but I think you guys get the idea.